Welcome to topic 6.1 in this introduction video uh, called Water, Water Everywhere. You will be able to identify and categorize different water sources, define important terms from a simple water cycle. A water cycle is what shows you how water is moving around the planet. And finally, explain why we shouldn't dump pollutants down storm drains by looking at a much more complicated version of the water cycle. As always, let's start with a brainstorm. So, how many different types of water can you think of? Take a moment, please, to pause this video and add your thoughts to your notebook for Part 1, Brainstorm. I'll be willing to bet that you probably thought of drinking water. That's an easy one. Maybe you thought of rivers or lakes. Maybe you thought of swimming pools or water slides. And I bet some of you thought about the ocean as well. Those are the easy ones. But did anybody think about rain? That counts as a water resource. Or what about rain's chillier cousin, snow? That's still water. Even though it's solid water, it's still water. And of course, if you get enough snow piled up, you get permanent ice sheets like glaciers. That's still water, even though it's solid. Of course, though, you can also have gas water. Here's some fog. That's water vapor. It's the gas form of water. Or clouds. Clouds are also the gas form of water. And unless you are in agriculture, maybe you might have thought of groundwater as well. Groundwater is super important to the Central Valley, not only for agricultural purposes, but also for our own city drinking water as well. So if some of these ideas are perhaps new to you, then please take a moment right now to pause this video once again and add some new thoughts to your notebook. And let's move on. Now we're going to categorize our brainstorm list. Water can be categorized into three groups. It can actually be categorized into a lot more than that, but let's just focus on three. We have fresh water, this liquid water that we can drink. Salt water is liquid water that is too salty to be used as drinking water. And then our final category, I'm just calling other. This is water that is a solid or a gas and cannot be used for drinking unless it is melted back into a liquid. So I want you to categorize your list of water resources as follows. You're going to write an F next to all of your fresh water resources in your brainstorm. An S next to any salt water resources that you have and an O next to other forms of water. Please pause this video and write F, S, or O next to each of your water resources. You must have one example of each. One example of fresh water, one example of salt water, and one example of other forms of water. Pause the video now, please. Let's move on to part two, water in motion. So this is an awesome little gift that shows you the water cycle, starting with evaporation and going through condensation. And then we have some rain action, some transpiration before the water droplet turns into runoff. So your job is going to be to open up this gift from Google Classroom. And as it plays through, I want you to tell me what each of those words mean. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation, transpiration, and finally, runoff. Your source for your definitions is going to be this GIF. So what I need you to do, please, is pause this video, open this GIF from Google Classroom, and use just this GIF to write your own definitions for each of these terms for part two, water in motion. And let's move on to part three, recycled water. So the little water cycle that we just looked at right there was very, very simple. It's kind of represented right here. We've got some rain, we've got some surface water and some plants. But once you get humans involved on the scene, this water cycle gets way more complicated. This is a much more complete version of the water cycle once humans show up on the scene. This is a picture of a street near my house. This is a storm drain. And the sign on the storm drain says, no dumping, protect our waters. What I want you guys to do, please, is to pause, uh, answer this question. Why do you think this says, no dumping, protect our waters? Dumping means anything being poured down that drain that shouldn't be there. It could be paint or oil or chemicals. 
once again, I want you to pause this video and I want you to open up this super complicated GIF that's over on the left. Look at it closely. Zoom in, zoom out, do what you have to do. The GIF is over on Classroom. And once you've analyzed this GIF, I want you to answer this question using graphic notes for part three recycled world. Why do you think the storm drain says no dumping protect our waters? I mean, after all, it's all just going down the drain, right? Or is it? Please pause the video now.